Hello friends, the stroke I'm writing is the basic stroke of capital letters. Put your nib on top rule and start a curved stroke, increase and decrease the pressure gradually somehow the highest pressure is to some extent on head rule and make a dot behind the end of the stroke between head rule and base rule. So the beginning of this stroke is curved, it is parallel with the slope line between number rule and head rule and again it is continued in a curved form. For writing the capital letter A, this stroke is done as a hairline. Then put your knee at the beginning of the stroke. Come back on it a little and increase the pressure somehow the highest pressure is here and continue that until the base room. As you see here it's a little curve and not parallel with main slope. Then put your nib on the body of this stroke between the head rule and base rule and draw a symmetrical form which makes the angle of main slope with the dot which is at the end of the basic stroke. Also, this is the axis of the symmetrical stroke. I'm going to write the small letters again but without any explanation. For writing B, draw the basic stroke of capital letters like what I explained first. Then put your nib on number rule, go up in a curved form and cover to some extent half of the space between top rule and number rule. Turn round and cover the space between number rule and head rule and continue the stroke like two reverse form of C which are connected to each other by a ring which is a little upper than the space between number rule and head rule at the tangent to the basic stroke of capital letters. Letter C starts on top rule with an oval form which covers half of the space between number rule and head rule. The highest pressure is to some extent between the mentioned lines. Then turn around on base rule and go up and cover one third of the space between head rule and number rule and stop here. 